Oh, where the hell did I put my keys? Oh, I must have forgot them upstairs. Oh, someone forgot the backpack. I better bring it to the police. Where is my backpack? Where did someone stole my backpack? Oh, I have my air tag. Let's see if I can find it. Oh, it's not here. Enable lost mode. Continue. Phone number. Next. Activate. Notify me when found. So this is an example of what can happen if you lose your backpack and now we're going to see how you actually can track that item when you have lost it. To do that we're going to head down to downtown, down, downtown Stockholm where we have more people circling around so we can have more tracking that is active to help us to find the air tag. Yeah. Let's do it. Let's do it. Well, now we're going to use a brand new air tag. I'm going to open it up and enable it. We're gonna link this one to my phone. Shows up here as expected. Let's set this one as custom name. We can call it test tag. And then we have to select an emoji. Let's take a heart, I think a heart is nice. The thing was that we tried to do these tests yesterday also, but we messed up. So that's why we're gonna redo it today to see how it actually works when you have it was just a car that almost got run over by a tram. What we're gonna do is that we're gonna place this air tag on a place here where you have a lot of people walking around and see how frequently these can be updated and if it can be found. And we're gonna put it here, come. So here we have a great place where we have people playing the chess and people are sitting around. So let's put it here where the flowers are. Like that, no one will see it. And then we're gonna go, let's put it here so we can actually make sure that no one takes it. And then we're gonna leave it here. So we're gonna walk over to the other side of the pond and then film so we can see how many people that is walking around here. So let's head over. Now the air tag is over there on the other side of the pond. And this is actually Kungsträdgården. It is just downtown Stockholm and uh, it's cherry blossoms. So I thought it was a perfect day to try this out because, I mean, the trees are just they are stunning. And it's 1st of May, and it's chilly like crazy. It's gonna be minus Celsius degrees tonight, so yeah. Let's place ourselves here somewhere so we can keep eye con contact with the, with the air tag and then be far enough to make sure that we do not have Bluetooth connection to our phone. Has to be with you, but then. Okay, so we had to move a little bit further away from the AirTag so we are not connected to it ourselves with this iPhone. Uh, but what we can conclude is that the position we get is where that iPhone or device was positioned when it was connected. So we don't get the position of the actual AirTag. We get the position of the phone where that one was when it was connected. Here we can see that it was connected two minutes ago by someone that was there. The air tag itself is positioned a little bit to the right area, it's about here. If you zoom in, we can see the place where it actually is. Yeah, somewhere around there. Uh, and now we can see, now it's updated again. Now it's updated one minute ago, it was positioned in the middle of this area again. Let's notify when found and let's close it and see what happens when the position is updated again. And I don't really know what the difference is between notify when updated or in lost mode. I assume that the lost mode will enable a person to put the air tag close to their phone and get the information about that air tag. I don't think you can get that if it's not in lost mode. But we're gonna make sure that that is cleared out and that we know the answer to that question a little bit. We have still not got any update. 
ja, får bara vänta tills det händer någonting. Okej, så just to check, now we are... It was four, five minutes ago, it was last updated. So what we can conclude is that we can probably not use this one as a live, real-time tracking of an item that, for example, has been stolen because it seems like the update is very delayed. So let's see how long time it takes before we get a new update. And as we can see, I mean, we have lots of people walking around over there. So at least one of those people could maybe use an iPhone. Okay, so the weird thing is that now I open up the app and now it suddenly says that it was detected two minutes ago. So someone, a phone was connected to the AirTag two minutes ago, so we got the position, but I did not get the notification. And that is weird. Why didn't I get a notification? And let's make sure, yep, notify when found, that one is enabled. Let's give it one more chance, let's lock the phone, let's reset the clock, the timer, and let's see how long time it takes. Let's give it 10 minutes, and if it has passed more than 10 minutes, then I'm gonna look at the phone and see if we have an update. Locking it now. So I just got a notification here, tag. This item was seen at Kungsträdgården. So that worked and that was now, and that was after I started that one when it was two minutes. So that is about seven and a half minutes. We got a new position update. So this is working, but it's not real time updates. You cannot again rely on using this one to track anyone. I don't think so. But we're gonna try and test that also, of course. First, Anders, Anders is gonna head over to that AirTag and see if he can use his Find My device and identify that AirTag when I have not put that one in lost mode. And then after that, I'm gonna enable lost mode and see if he can identify the AirTag when it is in lost mode. Let's do it, Anders. Yes. He's gonna go into his app. You're gonna click on or tap on identify found item. So you get to this screen and see, can he identify this air tag if it's not in lost mode? So Anders, have you, have you found the air tag? Yeah, I found it here. Can you identify it? Yeah, I got a notification says open found apple.com in Safari. So I will push that notification and it's open so Safari and it says about this air tag, and it's got a serial number. And now I'm gonna go into it and notify when found and enable lost mode. I'm gonna type in my phone number. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I tap next. This item has been lost, please call me. Okay, and I don't seem to be able to customize that message. So I can just tap activate. And what I think is happening now is that that air tag, the serial number of that one is from my phone sent to the Find My network. So the Find My network knows that this one is actually lost. So when you are trying to identify that one, you will get that information. So Anders, can you try to search for it again? I got a serial number and it says, now this item has been lost. Please call me. I got a phone number, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Really? Okay, so when it was not lost, you can see the serial number, but you couldn't see any information. And now you can actually see the information when I marked it as lost. Yes, that's correct. That is great news, isn't it? It actually works. It's working. Let's get over here and we're gonna have one more test. We're gonna see if we can stalk someone with an air tag. And if you get notified when I have dropped an air tag in your pocket. So I'm gonna drop this air tag in his pocket. And now we're gonna get a head start of two minutes. And that after two minutes, I can walk after him and see if I can see where he is and if he gets a notification that someone is tracking him. So now two minutes has passed and I'm gonna to try to track Anders. I can now see that he was last seen one minute ago up this direction. So I'm gonna see when I can get the next position. I'm also gonna enable notify me when found so I don't lose him whenever I can get a new position. Now we can see that it was two minutes ago he was last seen. Candace, are you walking? I'm walking. Do you feel yourself stalked? No. And you haven't noticed that you have got an air tag dropped into your pocket? No, I don't have any notification yet. So no. continue walking. Now I can see that 
I'm actually on top of the air tag. So now I don't really know where to go. So now I'm up at Hamgatan where I last saw Anders and it was according to the phone four minutes ago it was last position and that was down here. So I don't know if he walked up this way or if he walked down this way. And I still don't have a position. And accordingly to what we could figure out before, it takes up to seven minutes before I get a position. So let's see if that is the same now, if it takes seven minutes until I get a position. Now we're up to five minutes. Now we were up to about six minutes and I got a position. It says your item is somewhere within this circle. I would estimate this circle to be maybe one kilometer in diameter. But if I go to the center of that circle, I have to walk down here. So let's go down here to see if that is correct. Are you walking where you have other people around? Yes, I do. Have you gotten I... a notification that an air tag is following you? No, not yet. And now it says it was two minutes ago it was last seen and, and I've been after you for eight minutes. After eight minutes, Anders has still not got a notification about that he's tracked by an air tag. And now it says that it was three minutes ago your air tag was last seen and we still have the same diameter of about one kilometer. I should say that I'm soon in the middle of this circle. I think I have to walk over this street here. So now it's actually 10 o'clock in the evening on 1st of May. Now it says that it was four minutes ago and I still have this big circle. And you have still not got a notification about that you are stalked. No, I have not got any notifications. It maybe takes another three minutes then if we need to go up to seven minutes to get, until we get a new position. So now I follow Anders for 11 minutes and 30 seconds and I actually got a new position. And he is far away from where I am. I am down here and Anders is up there, probably. Now it says that you are at Östermalm. It says that you are 800 meters away. So let's see if this is correct. Uh, then I should walk down this direction. Now we're up to 12 minutes and 30 seconds and I just got a notification where it says this item was seen near Östermalms torg. And Anders, have you got a notification about that you're stalked? No, I haven't got any Still not. for that yet. No? Okay, interesting. So if you read on Apple's website, it actually says air tag is designed to discourage unwanted tracking. If someone else's air tag finds its way into your stuff, your iPhone will notice it's traveling with you and send you an alert. After a while, if you still haven't found it, the air tag will start playing a sound to let you know where it is. So Anders, you haven't got any of those notifications? Nothing yet. Nothing yet. Oh, you are moving. I got a new position. One minute ago, it says Nybrogatan 51. Anders, can you take a screenshot of your screen so we afterwards can see where you actually were? According to this yes. map, you are here. Anders, can you please now stand still somewhere and see if I actually can find you? Yes. If it's correct. Try to find a good location. Okay, so now it says that you are about 600 meters away and I've been tracking you for about 16 minutes and 30 seconds. And you have still not got a notification that you're tracked. Yeah. Understood. It says that you should be somewhere on Brahegatan. Can you take a, take a screenshot again to see if we are finding you where you actually are? So now we just passed where the Find My app said that he should have been when we got the first position. According to this app, it says that he should be down here somewhere close to this big park that is called Humlegården. And Anders, have you still not got a notification that you're tracked? Nothing yet. It's a little bit worrying that you still haven't got a notification. And I've been tracking you for 20 minutes and 40 seconds and you still haven't got a notification that I'm tracking you. No? No, you still haven't. Okay, so according to 
to find my app and there should be on this next street to the right. So the question is, is he up here? I cannot see him. I cannot see him. Let's check the app again. Here it says that he should be up this street, about in the middle of this street. So let's walk up here and see if he's at the middle of the street. Last position was two minutes ago. And I can, still can't see him. Let's see how correct this is. Anders, have you got a notification about that I'm tracking you? No, I haven't. Still not, and now I've been tracking you for 23 minutes. And here he is. Are oh, you stalking me? <laughs> that was interesting. The, the position is spot on. That is impressive. The position is spot on, but it's not so impressive that he has not been informed that he is actually trapped. <laughs> How was this? It was a nice walk. Yeah. Yeah, but I haven't so, noticed that I'm tracking. That is worrying. So I think this maybe should conclude this test. I mean, what should we say? It feels like it is actually a pretty good device to track your stuff. And apparently you can track people as well. Yeah. And we still haven't managed to get a notification that the person that is tracked is tracked. And I guess that we need to do some more testing regarding this and see why that is not happening. But I mean, it feels like it's a pretty good device. I mean, it has a battery life for at least one year. We can understand that it can't be tracking, giving positions maybe all the time. But it feels like, again, that somewhere around every three or seven minutes, you get an update. So yeah, I think you definitely could put this air tag on a child, for example, if you are in an amusement park or somewhere else. And yeah, it will maybe take a while, but before or later, you will actually find a person. Yeah. I think so. So yeah, so thank you so much for watching and uh, don't forget to subscribe and like this video and stay tuned for the next video. Have a good night, bye.